Welcome to WPTrainingVideos.com. This is a security update regarding the zero day attacks and the most recent issue with the file timthumb.php. This is actually recorded August 5th, 2011. So the information is current as of that particular day. We created this video to make sure that everybody knew about this particular vulnerability. It has been a huge, huge news story in the WordPress world, but not everybody is as connected, obviously, as we might be. So we wanna make sure that everybody understands what this is and how it can affect them and obviously how to help fix it. First, let's talk about what a zero-day attack is. Your WordPress site is basically like a castle, and it's got all sorts of protection around it, lots and lots of security. That security comes from WordPress itself and from various plugins that people can add. Sometimes, though, security isn't quite up to par, and there are some vulnerabilities that are out there. Now, if they're not fixed, it's like leaving a sign that says, hey, we're open, come on and do nasty stuff to the websites. So coders and programmers are constantly out there scouring the code, looking for those vulnerabilities. And when these good guys find the vulnerabilities, that's considered day one. So on day one, they can start fixing it. And they fix the vulnerabilities, your site remains protected. However, there are sometimes not so great people who will find vulnerabilities. Now, they don't try to fix these, they try to exploit these. They do horrible things with these. And because the good guys don't know about these, it's not day one. So it's considered day zero. Day zero is the day before day one. If somebody who's wanting to cause ill will finds out about a vulnerability and starts to exploit it, that's considered day zero. And that's how zero day attack gets its name. Let's talk about zero day attack and Tim Thumb. This particular file is used by a vast majority of themes. So there are some security scares that kind of go out and it really doesn't affect a ton of people. This one more than likely affects you if you use a WordPress site, especially if you have premium themes. A lot of people think, oh, well, if I buy the theme, then it's secure. A lot of premium themes use this, so make sure that you pay attention. What happens here is that the Tim Thumb file is basically allowing somebody who, again, doesn't really have our best interest at heart to place files inside our website on our server. Now, these files look kind of normal. They don't really look that horrible. And that's why the security that's there isn't picking them up. And then all of a sudden, one day, bam, your website's down, it's crashed, it's a going to some other websites that you didn't tell it to, and that's because it's been exploited by these hidden files that looked just fine. And they're going in through this Tim Thumb PHP file. The question is now, what can you do? First, make sure you have the most current updates of everything. That means WordPress should be 3.2.1, and that Theme developers are updating everything right now, especially the major players. Almost everybody out there knows about this. In fact, I can safely say that if you're a theme developer, I guarantee you know about this. And they are all working overnights to make sure that they are plugging this hole and making sure the vulnerability is fixed. So whatever theme you're using, look for an update. That might come through your WordPress automatically. Sometimes you will get noticed through an email list or an update list that you might be subscribed to. And other times you're gonna to have to go to the theme developer directly and download the most recent version of that theme. With those most recent versions, it should fix this particular vulnerability. Second, make sure you take basic security precautions. Now, if you're a free member, you can, of course, visit security and maintenance section, and there's a couple of videos there that should be able to help you out and get you started. If not, at least take this advice, which is to delete any inactive plugins. So if you've got a WordPress site and you've used some plugins a few months back and then you disconnected them because you didn't really like them, they're currently sitting inactive. They're not deleted, they are still there, and they could still potentially be security risks. So it's better just to get rid of them and delete them. And remember, for the most part, you can always go back and find those and reinstall them later if you do decide you want them. 
Finally, if you are technically inclined, we have included a number of links that you can use to learn a little bit more about this particular issue, including where to get the updated Tim Thumb file itself. As of this recording, there has been numerous, numerous, numerous rewrites of this file. And I have to tell you, watching this has been amazing because everybody's coming together and all these good programmers and coders are coming in and they're just making this thing better and stronger. And it's incredible to watch the amount of camaraderie that's out there. It's actually pretty inspiring. Of course, we're here with any questions, so if you have those, please leave them in the comments below. And take a moment, very important if you would, please share this video with anybody who you think that has WordPress and needs to know about this, which is pretty much anybody that has WordPress. So if you know of anybody, please, please share this video with them through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and LinkedIn. Thanks again for watching.